What's going on you guys? If you're new to the channel, my name is Brad and in this video I'm going to show you how to buy your very first stocks on the Quest Trade platform. Now before I get into that I want to make sure that you have an account set up and ready to go. So if you do not have an account already, uh, be sure to check out the video that I put up in the corner here and that will give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your very own Quest Trade account. But if you have an account set up and ready to go, we can hop into the computer and get started. So now that we're in the computer, I've already gone to questtrade.com and logged into my account. And this is what the home screen looks like. Um, but for buying stocks, we're gonna go up to the accounts tab and go over to our trading platform. All right, once your trading page loads, it's gonna look something like this. And we're gonna look up a stock that we are going to want to buy in just for the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna go over to the stocks tab and then we're gonna go up here to the top and look up a stock that I'm interested in buying. Now, just be aware when you're looking up the stock you wanna buy, it might be available on multiple different exchanges. So for example, you can buy TD stock on the New York Stock Exchange, which means that's gonna be in US dollars. So if I click here, it's going to pull up the stock and it's gonna show what it's trading at in the US currency. Now, if you want to buy the TD Bank stock in Canadian dollars, you need to make sure you find it on the Toronto Stock Exchange. So if I go up to here and I type in TD dot to for Toronto it's going to pull up here and it says Toronto Stock Exchange or the TSX right there so if I click on that it's just going to convert what the uh, the currency is in US to Canadian or vice versa and then it's going to show what it's currently trading at here now if we're going to go buy a stock we're going to use this column over here on the right so let's say I want to buy one of these TD shares okay all I have to do is click either the bid or the ask price. So typically the ad, the bid price is lower. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna send that information over to this order entry column over here, okay? Once you're over here, you have a different, quite a few different options that you can choose from. You can choose how much you want to purchase, how many shares in that company, and then you can choose your order type. Okay, so a limit means I do not want to pay any more than $81.56. So for example, you see how it's gone up here now. If I was gonna place this order, in order for that to go through, the price would have to fall back down to 81.56. Then there's a duration on that order. So for example, if it's set today, that means this order will be placed. If that limit is reached by the end of the day, then your order will be filled. However, if it doesn't reach that limit price again and the trading day ends, your order will automatically be canceled. Now you can change the duration of this order type to a few different options. So there's GTC, which means it's good until it's canceled. That order is gonna remain active if you do not cancel it for the next 90 days. After 90 days, it's going to, uh, to cancel on its own and then you'll have to put in the parameters again. Then there's GTD, which means it's good till date. So if you can put in a specific day on when you want that limit to be set to, and then if it goes past that, and doesn't reach it, it's going to uh, to cancel on its own, okay? Then there's GTEM, which is good till the end of extended market hours if you have that available on your account. Those are your limit order type, all right? Now there's another order type that you can choose and that's going to be the market. So if you go to the market order type, basically you don't have an option to put in how much you want to pay for it. What you have, what it is, is basically you're going to pay whatever the asking price is at that current moment. Okay. The benefit of this is that, you know, you want to buy it. You want that order filled straight away and you don't have to wait to see if it's going to drop down to the, the limit that you've set to it. There's a few other options in here, but I'm not going to get into it too, too depth. We're just going to stick to market and limit prices. Now what I'm going to do is go back to a limit order and I'm just going to show you how, uh, how it works. So let's say for example, I wanted to buy a limit order on TD Bank, but I don't want to pay more than $50. Obviously that's gonna be, that's probably not gonna happen and the stock's not gonna drop down to that. 
but I just want to use this as an example. And let's say, for example, I just want to buy, I only want to buy 20 shares at $50 per share. I want the duration of this stock to last until the end of the trading day. So what I can do is I can hit buy and it will show me how much my commission fee is for that trade and it shows the currency after. So if you're buying a US security, it's gonna be in US dollars as well. Then it'll show how much your, your buying power has changed. So if it's in brackets, that means negative. And then it shows your new buying power, uh, basically shows how much cash you have in your account. Then if I send the order, it's going to process it. Then how you can see where that order is, is you can go to back to your account tab right over here. You can go to your orders and it will show that it is accepted. However, there is a limit on it. The limit price is 50 and it's going to last for the end of the day. Now you don't have to pay that commission fee until the order is filled. Now at any time you say you've made a limit order and you want to cancel it, all you have to do is click on it. You can hit cancel and you can hit cancel order or cancel all td.to uh, orders, okay? Um, so this, I'm just gonna click cancel and it's gonna say, are you sure? And I say yes, and then it's gone off of your orders page. So, and then if an order was about to go through, you can go to the executions tab and it'll show here that uh, all the trades you've made in the day have gone through and uh, it'll show exactly all the the details for that. So that's pretty much how you buy a stock here on Quest Trade. But I'm also going to show you another another way that you can uh, avoid paying any commissions, which is buying ETFs. So I'm just going to use um, the Arc ETF as an example. Arc K that is in US dollars. So for example, what I'm gonna do is click on the bid price here. I'm just gonna use what the limit is here and 100 shares. Now I'm not gonna have enough cash in my account in order to do that, but I'm gonna hit buy anyway just to show you. ETFs on Quest Trade are zero commission trades. So you don't have to pay any commission on that. And if you don't have enough buying power to buy the amount of securities or stocks that you want, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. It says you do not have enough buying power for this order. And it's gonna show here that uh, how much it's gonna cost you in brackets, which in this case would be just over 12,000 US dollars, okay? So I'm gonna hit do not send, but that pretty much is a way that you can avoid paying commission fees for trades on Quest Trade. With that being said, let's hop out of the computer and finish up the video. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it for buying stocks on the Quest Trade platform. Now, this process is the same if you want to buy any, any individual stocks, if you want to buy ETFs, if you want to buy index funds, if you want to buy REITs, it's all the same process. Now, as I am not a financial advisor, I cannot advise you to buy any stocks in particular. However, I am curious to know which ones you pick up, so be sure to let me know down in the comments below uh, what stocks you're looking at. And if you got some value out of this video, please hit the like button. That will help out the channel a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing that below. And with all that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.